What's quack lacking guys? I'm the Duck Quack here, and welcome back to another episode on our Trade to Glory series. So we've got at the moment we've got the Hero Messi, and we've got the we got Ronaldo and Messi special cards and packs. I mean, there is no way we're not going to play a draft, get some packs, and then pray that some miracle happens and we somehow get one of them. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to jump into a four-one-two-one-two formation, which is my absolute favorite anyway. And then we're going to have a absolute insane pick for our first player. I feel like it's going to have to be Higuain that we take here, though. I mean, he's just too good for us. And he works for our kind of play style. Now we just need to try and play him into some other huge players. Like, wow. So <laughs> we can basically build our team here if we pick up Lacazette. We've got Lewandowski, but we don't get on with Lewandowski. So I think we're going to go for Griezmann. We're going to try changing things up a little bit here. See if we can build something a little bit different. We don't, really don't want to go into the... Well, we're obviously taking Perisic here. That's just ridiculous. We don't want to be going into the same team we've got on our main squad with Lacazette, Higuain, and then just literally building backwards. Oh, my God. Kante, but then nine Golan as well. Damn, guys, this team is looking incredible already. And we're only like, oh, my God. Oh, it's not great. It's not great. Who can we link up to them, though, is the question. I mean, Fabregas isn't awful. Gundogan is probably better. Kante does link into Griezmann, though. Oh, God, this is tough. You know what, Kante, even though it's his regular card, I think that's the correct pick there. He's just absolutely beastly compared to Fabregas. Oh, my God. Then we get Vidal. How can we ever fit Vidal into this team? Does it even matter? We're going to find a way. We are going to find a way to make this work. Give us a crazy right back as well. Okay, so the right backs are, oh, we do get Helvez though, and he does fit with our Calcio A team. Guys, this is going incredible. I don't think I've ever had a draft that started off this well. Oh my god. Then we get Hummels, just because they know that we need that link into Vidal there. So they're like, here, have Hummels. He fits perfectly. Now give us Boatang. Nope, just give us Chiellini's in form. Oh my god, that's perfect link. Perfect chemistry, sorry, there onto Alves at right back. Who are we going to get for this left-back slot? I don't see any special cards yet. Ah, uh, spoke too soon. Okay, Felipe Luis works. But I feel like Azpilicueta is safer here. Because he's got that strong link into Kante. Um, Felipe Luis allows us to go La Liga down the left, though. But it's pretty hard to link up. I feel we've got to play it safe, though, with Azpilicueta. Come on, team of the year, Neuer. Team of the year, Neuer. Oh, we're not going to get team of the year, Neuer. How unlucky can we actually get? No team of the year, Neuer. Um, I feel like we've just got to take the Bundesliga keeper here. It's not really a choice. He's the only one that fits the team that we've built so far. <sighs> Come on. Oh, Robin. Neymar. <laughs> Hazard, Smalling, Haldes. Okay, so Robin and Neymar don't fit our formations. As amazing as Robin would be, he has nowhere to fit him. I feel like... <sighs> Haldes seems like the safe pick. It doesn't give anyone the full chem, though. Like, no one that's not on full chem already. So I don't feel like we overly need him. I feel like we pick up... Maybe we just pick up Smalling in case we need him on the left-hand side. But we're not going to, are we? Oh, God, this is hard. Maybe it's just Neymar. And we just have a super sub there. Yeah, we take Neymar. We take Neymar. We're going for the man of the match Neymar card here. And we finally get... Nope. We get, we get more informs. Of course we get more informs. No one we really need, so we'll just take the Marseille God. Oh, come on, more special cards. Keep the special cards flowing. We get Jermaine Defoe. Not going to make the team, but we are going to take another special card here. There's no way we're not. We get Philip Lahm, we get Robin, we get team of the group stage Messi. Jeez, guys, this is going ridiculous. So Lahm's pace is probably a little bit of an issue, but his passing is ridiculous. Now, he would get a perfect link into Hummels as well. Do we need a perfect link into Hummels, though? Because I kind of want to play Chiellini and Alves. I mean, Robin doesn't fit the team. We're going to still have that same problem. And there'd be absolutely nowhere to play him. Messi, as crazy as he is, there's no way he's going to fit the team again. I'm thinking we take Lahm and probably don't use him. But if we get some other huge Bundesliga players, we maybe slot him in somehow. <laughs> okay, we get Messi, we get Walker, we get Royce. Ugh, guys, this is just too much to handle right now. Okay, so we don't need Walker. Uh, Royce doesn't fit the team. I feel like we just take Messi. I mean, he's not going to start for us, but we're not going to pass up a Messi when we can have him on the bench. Okay, this is a little bit more modest. I mean, we take Mertens here. It's a shame it's not his informed striker card because it would be perfect up top, but we can't complain too much. 
We'll take the random inform here, and we will just get a couple of these players onto the bench as well. Uh, let's throw Lam on there as well. We've got to get Messi on the bench. We really need another Kelsey away striker, though. Really want Dybala here. <sighs> so unlucky. How are we not getting anyone that we want here? Um, I guess we take the Kelsey away player, and I mean, we could potentially slot him in somewhere. I don't see where at the moment. As it stands, we've got a lot of players off cam, and it's not looking like it's going to change. The Bundesliga cam here doesn't really do much for us either, but still probably the correct pick. Coming into these, no one here really does much for us. We'll take the German player just in case we need to. Well, I don't know what we can do. We've had all our picks now. Um, no one there. Come on, Neuer. Just Neuer to finish this off beautifully. Ah, it's not going to be Neuer. We get Fabianski as our best. We'll just take Fabianski. He's not going to make the team. Ah, it started off very promising though, guys. And then we just... I feel like we went into too many different leagues. And then it all got a little bit messy. So we're going to end up playing this with... 7 came on Chiellini, 7 came on Vidal, 7 came on Kante, 7 came on Perisic, Griezmann, uh, Higuain, and Nainggolan. But who cares? Who gives a damn about chemistry when your team looks this incredible? <laughs> None of these are really going to do us much use. I guess we take the French one because it hits the most players. Damn, this team looks crazy though still. Even at 91 chem, I'm still very happy with this team. Let's just jump straight into game one and see how we get on. Okay, guys, look at this. Damn, this looks solid. Inform Messi that links up to Gomez and Team of the Year Iniesta. A third in form Sanchez, I think it is. Third in form Hazard. De Bruyne is second in form. Baines in form. Smalling. Montoya are right back. Neuer in goal. Damn, this team is incredible, guys. <laughs> I thought we had a stupidly solid team. And then we come up against something like this. In our first match as well, kind of feel robbed. Let's just hope and pray that we're on form today, though, and that we can actually beat this guy. Uh, I'm not overly confident though, but when am I ever overly confident? We've just got to believe, just hope, pray. It's nice to play into Griezmann here. Griezmann knocks it up to Pelisic. Oh, Pelisic can't quite hold it. It is one back though. Now Higuain. Higuain knocks it around to Griezmann. Griezmann with a second chance. Doesn't miss this time. Hotline bling that up, my man. We go 1-0 up against this guy and he's very, very good on the ball. So he's very careful. His build-up play is very patient, very possession-based. He's not very rushing in or anything like that, but defensively, he's fairly weak. Very much like us here. Quite strong attacking, but extremely weak defensively. And that's where we could get our advantage here. We've just got to make sure that we make our attacks count. And that's very unlucky. But yeah, 1-0 up. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Lovely ball down there to Griezmann. Come on, Griezmann. Come on, Griezmann. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Still Griezmann. Still Griezmann. Griezmann lays it off to Higuain. Higuain with a chance. Higuain buries it. Literally minutes after the first goal. Griezmann and Higuain linking up. Griezmann sticks a hand through Higuain's body just to say, well done, I guess. I mean, I <laughs> didn't know he had that kind of power. But hey, 2-0. We're absolutely flying. And this is the smoothest gameplay I've had on FIFA in God knows how long. I feel like my internet maybe, just maybe, is liking us today. Find him. This has got to be the one. Come on, Perisic. Perisic here. Perisic going to try and cut back inside. Perisic does. Perisic with the shot. Hits the bar. Touches it in on the rebound. Perisic can do what Griezmann can't seem to do. Every time we cut inside with Griezmann like that, he's just been playing it straight at the keeper, miles wide. But we can trust on our big centre attacking mid, Perisic, to knock that pass. It did take him two attempts, but he knocks it past the keeper at the second time of asking. And we do take a nice little 3-0 lead here. This team is playing like an absolute dream. Vidal is an absolute monster. There's literally, him and Kante together is broken. There's, there's no fairness about this. They just completely lock down everything. And even if we're playing against someone who's incredibly good compared to us, there's no chance of them doing anything. Because, well, Higuain can't shoot. But just because they're so goddamn strong and everywhere at the same time. Come on, Alves. Break away here. Break away to Higuain. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I want Higuain on this score sheet now. Higuain wants to be on the score sheet. So Higuain will get onto that score sheet there. Look at that smile on his face. He's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's just happy about this. We go 4-0 up and we are cruising into the last eight of this tournament. Higuain with a chance. Oh, that is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. That's a red. Don't even mess around this time, referee. There we go. Get him off that pitch. Of course, it's a free kick. Oh, we messed up horribly as well. Straight at the wall, but nine got him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to do. It's the old one-two with the wall. So what you do is you pass it into the wall. It bounces back perfectly onto one of your center mids. 
and they just take a, a shot with their weak foot that kind of curls round and finds the empty space in the goal. Um, I would prefer that you guys didn't spread this tactic around too much because as you saw, it's incredibly overpowered and I don't want all the pros using it. So let's keep that a little secret. Oh, Higuain's for on goal again. Higuain's not selfish though. Higuain, <laughs> that was a through ball, I promise you guys. I passed Y, I hit Y, or triangle on PlayStation, whatever you want to call it, to try and play it off to the side. And Higuain just plays a through ball past the keeper here. Look at this. You can see the like through ball pass as well. Higuain doesn't care. He just does what he wants to do. He knows that he can score in those situations and he makes up for that big miss from the corner where we hit the post and then we hit the post again and then should have conceded really. Either way, we pick up a big 6-0 win. 6-0? Six 6-0 nil? Six nil win in this first match. We cruise onto the final eight of the competition and we're going all the way, boys. We are going to win this thing. Okay, boys, straight into round two and oh, he's got one of my worst enemies. He's got David Luiz at centre-back. He's got man of the match Kante and Fabregas in the midfield. Kabaye behind them. Man of the match Walcott on the right. Inform Hazard on the left. Gabi Adini up top. But he has got Victor Valdez in goal. And I mean, I can take Victor Valdez. Griezmann finds Nangolin. Nangolin finds him. Oh, come on, Higuain. Come on, Higuain. Oh, that's incredible. Literally a minute and a half into the second. A minute and a half into the second half. Yeah, that sounded weird in my head. But look at that strike from Higuain. This is why he always makes our team. This is why he's always our first pick. We score just going into the second half. And he's just bought on Ronaldo as well. So we've got a lot more to deal with this half. Even though we are in the lead, it's still going to be tough to hang on against this guy. Committing to too many slide tackles here. This is our weakness. This is where we could die. This is where we could be down. This is where we lose it. Oh, it's poor by us. It's so poor by us. Over committing way too many times. And Fabregas slides in and tucks it into the bottom corner. Ah, oh, it's heartbreaking. 80th minute. So near to the end of the game there is when we concede. And now we're fighting again to try and get our lead back. Not the position we want it to be in here, boys. Not even close. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi. You can outrun these guys. You actually can outrun these guys. That touch isn't great, but it's fine. Because you bagged to go. Oh, the super sub in the second half of extra time, Messi. We brought on Messi and Neymar. Messi just had the pace to beat both the defenders there. David Luiz, and I think it's... Was it Smalling he had as well? Just left standing there as he paced it forward and... Now it's just the nervous cast, cask, task. I can barely speak at the moment. What kind of a pass is that? <laughs> it's so nerve-wracking. You guys would just not understand how I'm feeling right now, unless you've been in the second round of a draft and it's been kind of close. And then you probably get completely what I mean. <sighs> guys, we did it. We actually did it. That was absolutely insane. That was such a close game. I mean, I don't think either of us was really better. We both defended really strong. We both attacked really well. Just not forcing any kind of shots, and it came through to a very, it was quite lucky over the top ball that Messi, just with the fresh legs, managed to beat the defenders too with a solid finish from his weak foot, and we move into the semi-finals, and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling like we're going to win this, let's see what the next game's like though, wow, what the hell is this, in from Suarez and Messi, with the new Ronaldo, Team of the Year, Modric, Marcelo, and um, Gomez in midfield. Team of the Year, Ramos. Man of the Match, Oblak. Team of the Group Stage, Godin. Inform, Alaba. This is broken. How are the teams we're playing just getting better and better and better every time? Did he have five Team of the Years in this? If you include the Ronaldo card, which is basically his Team of the Year anyway. We are in for a whole world of trouble here, boys. Especially against our worst enemy, Team of the Year, Ramos. This guy is broken. Let's just see if we can break him, though. Well played there. Find Vidal making that run. Find Vidal making that run. Vidal find the back of the net. Oh my god, yes, you are not missing from there. Vidal is just so good. I've used his normal gold card and he's solid, but he seems to be making the runs. He seems to be a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger, more powerful. Everything just seems great with him. And I'm starting to love this card a lot. As well as the just normal non-informed Kante, which we all know is absolutely godly anyway. The defence, the midfield, it's just doing their job as it stands. Can it see us all the way through this tournament, though? Nine Gollum now on the ball. Nine Gollum sees Higuain. Oh, he sees uh, Griezmann. I can't even think of names right now. Back to Nine Gollum. Forward to Pelisic. Pelisic with a shot from outside the box. That is one hell of a save by All Black. An absolutely ridiculous save there. We're going straight into the centre this time. It's a good ball then. Another ridiculous save there by All Black. 
Is he going to put anyone on the near post this time? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Come on, Hig. Oh, come on, Higuain. You can't leave us alone on that front post. Every time you started marking it, you leave it for one time, and Higuain is going to make you pay. That's exactly what's happened there. Oblak can keep you out twice, but he can't make the third save. We go 2-0 up. Feeling confident here, boys. Nicely played down there to Griezmann. Griezmann across there to Higuain. Higuain with a chance. Higuain on the volley. It's it's not a very good volley, really, is it? I mean, he kind of hits it very weakly, straight down into the ground. Is it even a volley or is it a half volley? I feel like it's a volley. Higuain on the half volley. Yeah, I'm not happy. Well, I'm happy he scored, obviously, but... I expect, like, Higuain to fully contact with it, blast it into the top corner, like, the goal to shatter, it falls to pieces, the goalkeeper starts crying, our team surround him, the fans all come onto the pitch, everyone's going crazy, and then they rage quit. The rage quit part was there, the goal wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. Either way, though, we do move on into the final of the draft. A big win there, much easier for us than the second game. It all just comes down to this, though, boys. Do we get Messi? Do we get Ronaldo? Or if we lose, do we just have to settle for like the team in the knockout stage or Bamiyang or someone awful like second in form Martial? We'll just have to wait and see. Right, guys, into the final of this draft. Ronaldo, Giroud, in from William, De Bruyne, Marcelo, Team of the Year, Marcelo, Team of the Year, Iniesta, in from Fabregas, damn you, Ramos again, damn you, Oblak again, and Godin. But he has played three at the back, three, five, three. We're going to be very. It's going to be dangerous when he attacks, but we should be able to be strong going forward. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Change to Vidal. Change to the player I want you to change to. Please. Please, somebody. Please change. No. That was one hell of a finish, though, to be fair. Like, Fabregas just stands up and side foots it. You expect the keeper to do better, though. Watching that again, Adler doesn't move up towards the ball. He goes downwards and... Yeah, I kind of blame Adler for that, actually. Either way, though, great finish there by Fabregas. We do go down 1-0, and it's the first time we have actually gone behind in this tournament. So I'm kind of thinking, like, it's not going to be good news for us. I don't know how that wasn't a foul, either. It's played up beautifully into Vidal there. Vidal plays it in, finds him, find him, find him, find Vidal. Vidal slots it home! Literally minutes after we concede, Vidal equalises for us, and... I was saying earlier just how great my internet was being, and then we come up into the final, which was seemingly a good connection, and it's very jumpy. Again, not complaining too much, though, because whatever we have, we can only assume that the opponent has as well, which makes it a fair game, but uh, it's a shame that it's going to be played out in this way, and that's a great goal. That's a fantastic goal. Can't take anything away from him for that goal. You could see it coming from miles away as soon as the ball fell into, was it Giroud in the box there? And he just lays it off. Great. Yeah, yep, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble here, boys. Oh, it's beautiful again. It's absolutely beautiful again. He's good. He's very good, this guy, and he's just destroying our defense. He knows how to dribble, hold up the ball. A bit lucky there, actually. I didn't know it went under the legs of Adler. I thought he played it around him, but you can't take anything away from a player like this, and this is going to be the second time it's happened. The lag, though, as you can see, is pretty damn bad. I'm not going to use it as an excuse, though, because we'd probably lose against this guy anyway. It's the second time, though, that we've made a final, and if we do go on to lose this, it'll be the second time we've actually lost the final. That's a good shot. That's one hell of a shot. Is that Higuain? It is. I mean, we've always got a chance. Every game we play, we've got a big chance, but this guy's going to be a real challenge for us to overcome. Find Griezmann. Oh, that is one hell of a ball. Come on, Griezmann. This is your chance here. Cut it across. Finish it, surely. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone under the keeper. Perisic with the huge finish there on the stroke of half time. I wasn't sure if playing it across there with Griezmann was the right decision. I felt like the angle was a little bit narrow for us to shoot with high success rate. So I thought, let's just try playing it into Perisic there. He catches it on the volley. He catches it sweetly enough to score. And we actually go into half time at 3 3. Looking at those stats there, we've been all over him with possession. We've had more shots on target than him. We've had much better passing accuracy, much better shooting accuracy. <sighs> Very tense game, though. Very tense game. It's tough, but the fact that he's got three at the back makes him so strong attacking, which is hard for us, but so weak defending, which makes it easier for us, obviously. So a bit of each in this game, and we're just going to see which is going to be the biggest influence on who wins. Oh, it's De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Oh, my God. Wow. That was a crazy shot, literally just into the second half there. He plays it out here. I don't think De Bruyne has any kind of danger there, but yeah, what a shot. What a goal as well. Adler not even getting close to it. 
We worked so hard to get ourselves back into the game, and just like that, we're shut out of it again. <laughs> Everything to do once more, boys, but let's just believe again and see if we can come back. We just can't get onto him here. Just can't do anything against him. Oh, the delays kicked in a little bit more when we're changing players, but even so, there's no stopping this guy. He just had one of the nicest link-up plays before this. It was like a 1-2. He lobs it into the, po uh, into the box. A chip shot from William, first touch. And it just strikes the bar, and I'm I'm just sitting here thinking, like, wow, damn, how are you doing this? How are you so good? We, oh, I thought we were really going to come back into the game here at halftime when we did score, but it looks like he's just a better player than us. And Higuain doing some serious work there to get the ball, and then Kante not doing the fake shot. Either way, the 5-3, we've got a chance. We've come back from 2-0 down before. We can do it again. On the edge of the box, strikes it top corner. It's a fantastic finish by Higuain again. He's got us beat. He knows how we play now. And he's adapted so well. He's playing very defensive now. Now, that's not a bad thing. He's playing free at the back. So playing defensive isn't the worst thing in the world for him to do. But when he attacks, he's so strong. It's the shielding side of it that I can't deal with. Someone who's very good at shielding. And I know that sounds stupid because to shield, all you do is you just press L2. But some people are very good at it. They use it at the right times. They hold off the ball. They use it while dribbling and... I just can't get onto this guy at the moment. Just look at that. They're just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You are kidding me with this. His long shots are absolutely phenomenal as well. Wow. <laughs> if you're going to lose a game, then you can't have any shame in losing against someone like this. Every time he shoots, he knows where it's going. He knows where he's placing it. Well, this half at least. <sighs> yeah. yeah, game over. Definitely game over. Four goal deficit. He's, he's Something's changed this half. He's just playing absolutely phenomenally. Good ball then. Good goal. I knew as soon as he went near post there that he was going to get that onto the head of Higuain. And look at that. Perfect. That's how you take a corner. It sounds a bit weird, but I'm, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm playing against the same person I played against in the first half. He's pulling off dribbling that he wasn't doing then. His positioning is absolutely phenomenal. His dribbling is just ridiculous. His shooting is insane. You saw the stats from the first half, the kind of shots he was missing. It feels like it's someone different, but whoever it is, if it is the same guy, he had a very poor first half, and he's playing like he should be playing second half. <laughs> this is going in. That's eventually going to go 9-3. It's not even close in this game, boys. We have been destroyed. Okay, guys. So we get absolutely trashed in the game in the end. But I'm almost positive it was a different person playing that second half. Uh, everything he did was different. Every way he approached the game was different. Even the celebrations were different. The first half, the guy skipped replays, normal, just A button. The second half, the guy dabbed every time I watched the full replay. It's just too much of a transition. Look at the stats as well. He's jumped up to destroying us. We didn't even have a shot, I don't think, that half. So 17 shots for him. His shot accuracy, his pass accuracy has gone through the roof as well. I'm not complaining about it. We lost fair and square. The guy absolutely destroyed us. It just felt like we were playing uh, against someone different in the first half. And then an absolute god in the second half. Either way, we do win the semi-final rewards. Is that all you get for it? Oh, it's depressing. A gold player's pack. I thought that was going to freeze for a second then. <laughs> I really believed it for a second. We get a centre-back. We do get Savage. There's a couple of thousand coins. We should make our money back from drafts at the moment. Just because of all the players being worth something. Um, we will just quick sell a Galatas Roy player. I'm not really fast. And then we will see if this 25k premium gold players pack has any kind of value to us. Oh, no. No walkout. We needed the walkout to be there. We wanted the walkout to be there. It's going to be... Oh, God. It's an 82-rated Albuel. 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce it. A Napoli player. We get Lennon, Budaboos in the pack. Pue, Ndoy, and Escalante. I'm guessing Ndoy sells for about 1,000 coins anyway because of all these SBCs. Well, that was a little bit depressing, actually. I mean, so much hype, so much build-up, so much belief. And then to get trashed, like absolutely destroyed in that last game was heartbreaking. I feel like to end this video, that we should just play... Ooh. You know what? To end this video, let's do a team of the knockout stage tournament group malarkey SBC. Let me try and put one together from what we've got in our club. And then we will just jump straight into it, boys. Okay, guys. So that's part one done. We had to buy Xhaka, which was, I think, 3,600. And we also had to buy Subasic, 
who was the same. So we spent about 7,000 coins, a fair few untradables again, and the rest from the club on that one. Now we just got to do the 82 rated squad, and I didn't complete this before because I couldn't remember the players we used. So let me do this one, finish that, jump into the packs, pull Ronaldo, and then be very happy. Okay, guys, so we've completed it again. We had to buy two players again, Subasic and Xhaka. We're using the 86 rated Martinez from our club. Now, the logic behind this is he's dropped to about 28,000 coins. So to buy a cheaper inform and then buy the 84 rated card we need, it works out basically the same as just using our Martinez in our club. So that's what I decided to go for. We have now got ourselves a huge, untradable team of the knockout player. It's going to be a walkout. I can believe we're going to get another walkout here. If not, then... Well, if not, then we don't get a walkout. And I guess there's not really a lot we can do about it, is there? But <laughs> let's at least believe. Let's at least dream. I mean, we got one last time. We got... Who did we get first? We got the old Liverpool player. I can't even remember his name now. My mind's going completely blank. Um, Aspus. Uh, then we got in the second pack, Michael. I finally remembered. I think it's my old age catching up on me. But this is what it all comes down to. The Today pack. The Today one. No walkout. No! It's, it was a big flare, though. Who's it going to be? Centre back. Oh. Oh. We do get a Cabral, who is, again, not the worst player we can get. But you know what, boys? I don't think that I'm going to waste more coins throwing him through the tradable version. We're going to end it with him. We're going to leave him here. An 85 rated special card. We got rid of an 86 rated special card and a ton of coins, but that's not the point. We took the gamble, the gamble failed, and now we've just got ourselves to blame, really. Anyway, guys, going to end the video there. Heartbroken we couldn't win that draft, but beaten by the much better player in the end. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down in the comments and anything that you've got to say, just drop it down there. And again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.